Hello viewers and welcome to another episode of Lancer Custom Works, where I will be discussing the various mech builds you could make and play with Lancer. Sunzi, is what happens when someone turn a hammer into a mech as they see every single problem as nail to be hammered in except instead of a hammer it's teleportation, your buddies is in trouble, teleport, you are in trouble, teleport, you want your enemies to be in trouble, teleport, it just works. Sunzi can also act as a conduit for teleportation, making them the best ally for Morning Cloak, Minotaur, and even Manticore, put these three in a team and you will get a triple M massacre fast. They can also just teleport themselves, which by the way don't trigger engagement or reaction, making them the fastest Harrison armory frame around, and Sunza can just, not move at all when it doesn't want to. Also it has 15 sensor range and 11 save target because fuck everything in sight, and with its core passive, it can even screw enemies teleportation over, and it even works as conduit for Sunzi and allies to teleport back to, it just works. In the following 40 builds, practically every single Sunza system get used, because they are just so useful, and all of them teleport and move stuff around. As for the role, I am really sick of trying to categorize support frame builds because they are always split seconds away from dominating by controlling everything, so I went fuck it, there's just 4 categories for Sunza now, controller striker, artillery, and support controller, Defender, anyway let's talk about the most numerous builds. That's the wall, brother, that's the wall is not the most standard Sunzi around, but it will do as an example of a controller striker Sunzi, besides beating the shit out of people with all the TSS system plus brawler, duelist, and juggernaut, Sunzi has one more trick. Remember the anchor and how Sunzi slip lets it teleports right back to it, Sunzi can just grapple someone, and teleport with them, extra bonus if the target is dependent on reaction so they get extra fucked. So yes, Sunzi, this frame has 4 fucking arms for a reason. There's also other reasons why Sunzi wants to get closer, this is Pillar of Light, an exemplar Sunzi with Blink Space Tunneler, an excellent system for getting an entire party somewhere fast, this frame even has final secret, so even if someone attacks it, it will always move in the direction it wants, same system can also keep people from running away. With just a single protocol, Sunzi can really dramatically change the distance between things. But moving back to Grappler Sunzi, there's of course not just one, this is Herald of the Holy Lioness, because of course someone will make a Seekomet Mem build, and this one is actually better than most, with Skirmisher, Fold Knives, and Slip for all the mobility to chase down its preys. Blink Charges are also very good at teleporting enemies out of cover and keep them close to you, and here's something extra with Slip, it teleports two spaces, meaning if you have a wall in your way, it's not. Say your farewell stinker is a very interesting grappler Sunza build, because it has beckon and mesmer mine, mesmer mine immobilize everything in burst 2, and by placing it down at the right place close to the anchor, you can grapple someone, use beckon on another, teleport back to the anchor, have them trigger the mine, and now you have two immobilized victims with only one anchor charge spent. Also there's sentinel drone in case you don't even want them to attack well. I'm skipping this, you already know how this works. This is teleports behind you, because what's worse than a teleporting Sunzi, one that can fly so fast with Ace that it looks like teleporting, with Blink Tunnel to transport the whole team. Worse, if it gets hit, it can escape immediately by teleporting back to the anchor with the motivator, and that's if it's not doing it with Fade Cloak to walk right through solid barrier. Get em get em is a Sunzi with bits from Minotaur license, specifically, I want to talk about Metafold Carver, because with this thing, you can teleport enemies from 15 space away right to your anchor, and if you have also set up Mesmer Mine, they are not going anywhere. Plus, with Viral Logic and Hacker combo, this Sunza can really cook up hostiles if it's not burning them with the torch. With Sunza's 15 sensor range, of course there's gonna be a drone commander build, this is Horizon Breach, a Sunza with Assassin, Tempest, and all the turret drones to establish control zone and deal as much damage to the enemies as possible, with real space breach to further extend the otherwise short-ranged ghoul nexus with senti main and other allies weapons. Want you gone is another Sunza build with real space breach, which you will see a lot of, basically, with real space breach, you can either shoot the DSAS at like 10 more spaces, or curve warp rifle around a corner so you can teleport the target to you and then you can shoot them with the shotgun anyway. 
I would recommend OP Cal instead of slope plating so the warp rifle could really teleport anyone half the map away. And of course, that's not the only build with DSAS, this is the Lubul Gambit, a vanguard DSAS packing Sunza that's also half an Atlas, because as it turns out, Atlas systems provide plenty of mobility too while packing some serious close range power, Wind Stance Terashima is an effective mobility booster too. Croil Rifle is also good at that too, and all the fold knives won't hurt either, though having real space breach somewhere would have made this build even more hilarious. Finally, there's Punch Out, a Heatfall OC loop catalytic hammer packing Sunza that just wants to punch the shit out of everything, with explosive vent to explode even harder and HDA for some good defense when you are punching stuff, not like you need to move with blink charges around anyway. And that's all on the controller striker Sunza, which not only works well with the frame's traits, and has a ton of systems in its own license to move like a maniac, Sunzi is also beefy enough with one armor, it can survive punching and supporting everything at once. Now, let's move on with probably the proper way of playing Sunzi, the support controller. Deadliest game of hopscotch is an idea made by the insane, anyway, the basis is that each time you shoot someone with final secret, they teleport 4 spaces, so, you put mine every 4 spaces first, and when the enemies tries to carefully walk around, you put final secret on someone, shoot them, and start exploding all the mines. Of course, this doesn't work like the submitter thought it would, because you need a reaction to teleport people with it, but this still means that you won't have as much trouble putting someone on a mine with final secret around. Analysis paralysis is your usual Sunza with all the invade system shoved in, you basically are just going to annoy the hell out of everything, and withheld image, your OC Cal Autopod is going to fire for free practically every turn, and on top of everything, it still has Accelerate, which I haven't talked about at all in this video because I fairly certain you already know how useful it is at this point. Beginning and End is another Blink Tunnel Sunza that want to get close to the enemies, but it also has Horo S3, which has Celestial Shackle that can keep teleporting an enemy back to it, I think you can already see where this is going. And Real Space Breach isn't just only useful for bending your bullets, it also teleports people around it, which mean with a Sunza, your buddies can just warp back to the anchor with it, can you see why Sunza is just so good now? Caltrop Kid is a very simple and incredibly irritating Sunza to play against, you just deploy as much crap around as you can, and then zap someone you hate with final secret so they could never avoid all the traps you have set up, also, Vanguard Impaler, because fuck everything within range 3. The Art of Tron is a flying Sunza with all the movements from Accelerate, Ace, and its own speed, allowing it to blink tunnel the entire team anywhere and set up Oasis Wall that can block the entire map. Also, Stun Crown, to stun everything with your Radiant Magnificence. Barton Nana you are physically incapable of touching this is a Sunza that can make itself and anyone extremely slippery thanks to Didymos, and let's not forget about Slip and Accelerate, it also can just shut down Reaction with Wandering Nightmare, and freeze up enemies with Stasis Generator, you really cannot touch the Sunzi at all. Hey look, more drone Sunza, this is Kasparov ain't got nothing on this, a Sunza with black spot to lock onto enemies, which make them get shot easier with its assassin drones, with tempest and blink charges to funnel enemies into the kill zone. Chapter 7, Using Spies, is an Athena Sunza, that allows it to see through anything, which with spotter, is going to make your allies very lethal, and if you are going full support mode, just use retractable profile and make yourself smaller. Finally, there's because he invented it, a Sunza that's, probably the most standard Sunza around with almost all the Sunza systems shoved in, and that alone make it a highly effective support frame that can still make an absolute hell out of enemy formation, plus, there's heat fall, so you can do even more support in a turn. And that's all on the support controller Sunza, the sheer amount of ways Sunza can screw around with blink space and teleportation makes it an incredibly useful unit when your team needs to move anywhere, and the same capability can be used against the enemies easily. There's also actually a lot of teleportation capable systems out there that can combo well with Sunza to screw over the enemies, you just need to find them, anyway let's get going with the controller artillery build. Giant Robot Chess is, like many artillery Sunza, a Sunza based around the stacked warp rifle, because it's both an AP dealing rifle, and it solves the main issue of artillery by constantly teleporting any incoming striker half the map away. With real space breach, it can reach even further, add in unhinged chronology and ferris lash, it can do even more than just shooting. I'll just let the space ripped aim it for me is another Sunza with real space breach to bend the shot, packing a vulture DMR instead because it's a really good rifle, other death's head systems are also here, 
like map clamp to climb up wall, core siphon for better shot, and tracking bug to see its victim no matter how well they hide. Displace Displacer is a very sane Sunza that also packs a goddamn displacer, because of course. Thankfully, it has just enough heat cap to not melt from firing it, and it's better to use either blink charges or beckon to gather up the enemies before firing the big shot for maximum damage. Anti-social distancing is a super stacked warp rifle Sunza, except this time it comes with auto loader drone, siege stabilizer, and rolling chamber, so now you can really fire this thing every turn at longer range with harder hitting shots. Finally, there's teleporting you into bees, a super stacked warp rifle Sunza with swarm body, because the main goal of this build is stand still, shoot at people or use Horo S1 and blink charges to call them in, and let the swarm rip them to shreds, and as a reminder, Sunza cannot be moved unless it wants to, and it's beefy enough to survive a melee. And that's all on the controller artillery Sunza, because of how general its traits are, Sunza is good at both long range and up close, warp rifle is also a very good rifle so Sunza isn't lacking in firepower and control at all. Lastly, let's talk about the support defender. This is energy shield Sunday, a Sunza that just want to set up blink tunnel, run as quickly as possible towards the enemies, and then set up enclave, aegis, and smoke to protect its allies, with pepcock for some tech support, and let's not forget about the blink anchor, Sunza can also put one in a safe place and teleport allies away from danger to it when needed. And funny enough, this is also the same strategy used by truncated world line, just set up blink tunnel, run towards the enemy, and set up everything for a defensive position with Noah, a full vanguard DSAS would have been good here too. Now, that's all 40 Sunza builds finished reviewing, I would like to thank all of my viewers that have sent in their submissions for this episode, because I really didn't know that there's actually a ton of systems capable of teleporting that work well with Sunza's traits, allowing for a massive variety of mobile support builds. Now, let me show you the topic for the next episode, that's all for now, and I will see you all next time. Hello there, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell button. If you really want to support my channel, you could visit my Patreon page, or buy me some Kofi, links in the description. Anyway, have a nice day.